It seems almost everything in the renewable world has a habit of catching fire. Lithium-ion batteries, whether in EVs or battery energy storage systems, are highly unstable and need very little prompting to go into thermal runaway. Wind turbines are also prone to catching fire if their braking systems fail, which they seem to do regularly. And now it seems solar panels are causing the UK fire authorities considerable headaches. Add that to all the extra fires from e-bikes and e-scooters, and the renewable transition really is going with a bang. Joking aside, the problem driving all this is our decentralisation of the power generation capacity. From large concentrated sources like coal or nuclear power stations, to being spread thinly across a far larger area. Instead of simply using electricity from the grid, we have solar panels on our houses. Instead of filling up our vehicles at a safe, controlled environment, we're doing it all at home. And all of these things increase the risk of harm to people and property. If you have solar panels on your roof and they catch fire, it could be your entire home that you lose, as The Telegraph reports. Surge in rooftop blazes sparks concern, sparks, get it, over Miliband's solar panel boom. Fires have risen at a faster pace than installations, analysis finds. A surge in house fires caused by solar panels and their batteries is sparking safety concerns over Ed Miliband's plan for millions more rooftop installations. UK fire services faced a blaze involving a solar panel once every two days in 2024, according to data gathered by insurance company QBE, marking a 60% increase in the past two years. QBE canvassed data from across the UK's fire services to see how many blazes were caused by solar installations. It also found fires were rising faster than the rate of installations, suggesting a rise in the number of solar panels could not explain the increase in incidents alone. Adrian Simmons, a senior QBE risk manager, said, Solar is essential to the UK's clean energy transition. Yes, they have to say the official line just to make sure they they get all their woke brownie points. But the rapid pace of deployment is raising risk concerns. Our analysis shows fires involving solar panels have risen at twice the rate of new installations over the past two years. Safe solar panel installation and maintenance are essential to reducing fires. The findings follow a series of disastrous fires linked to solar installations that are thought to have been either faulty or badly maintained. Earlier this year, a blaze caused by rooftop solar panels forced the evacuation of pregnant women and babies from St Michael's Maternity Hospital in Bristol. Another rooftop solar panel fire in Church Crookham, Hampshire, damaged three flats in 2022. Mr Miliband is pushing to accelerate UK solar capacity from 18 gigawatts now to as much as 85 gigawatts by 2035, a nearly five-fold increase. Some of this expansion will be in the form of ground-mounted panels in the giant solar farms that are replacing farmland, excellent idea, across counties like Lincolnshire, Norfolk, Suffolk, Devon and Cornwall. However, Mr Miliband's recent solar roadmap also calls for rooftop panels to be fitted on millions more homes, in addition to the 1.5 million already equipped. It also proposes minimising planning requirements which can incorporate safety regulations. Well, this is the utter madness of rooftop solar in large-scale installations like this. You know, when it's managed by an electricity company or a generating company, it can be maintained to certain standards. They can make sure that it's working properly and that it's not causing a hazard. But, you know, once people stick solar panels on their roofs, they kind of forget about it. The maintenance and and inspections that would normally be done by a like a, a generation company that owns these kind of assets just doesn't get done. Apart from the fact that we're talking about solar power in the UK, which in itself is pretty hilarious. But this is the essential problem. We are bringing highly dangerous Genera electricity generation, we're bringing it from uh, power stations where it's always been concentrated into our homes. We are now using our homes as electricity generation stations and fuel filling stations. Now, 
both of those things have an enormous amount of regulation around them to make sure that they're safe. That kind of regulation is not going to be enforceable at all on individual homeowners. So the standards of safety that you will get with home installation of generation capacity or fueling capacity in the form of EV chargers is going to be far lower than having centralised, concentrated power generation, uh, which is run by experts, professionals in that, in that area, who know about the safety regulations and can maintain and inspect those assets properly. And the same with fuel filling stations. Again, they are highly regulated environments, and yet we are now bringing this danger, essentially quite a dangerous process of fueling cars, generating electricity. We're bringing it into our homes, and that can only increase the risk of damage or injury and that's what we're seeing more fires caused by solar panels and if your solar panels on your roof go up you're probably going to lose your home if a solar farm goes up in the middle of nowhere well that's bad for the generation company but they've got the money to pay for it uh, if it's your home that goes up that is a completely different story all right that's it for this one thanks very much for watching really hope you enjoyed it look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now if you'd like to support this channel and display your anti-ev credentials to your tesla owning neighbors at the same time why not buy some awesome m guy merchandise like this mug this baseball cap or this t-shirt each high quality item sports the m guy no ev sign and they're all made to order perfect for irritating the hell out of your local ev zealots visit store.com mguy.tv or click the link in the description to check out the full range of products and of course you can always just buy me a coffee click the link in the description or scan the qr code on screen thanks very much for watching really hope you enjoyed it if you've got any tips or stories go there if you'd like to watch another video go there if you'd like to buy me a coffee go there and please subscribe to this channel